Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wheel Lobbies. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to put a T7 APC on a current SAR. And for those who's obviously taken the engine out and put it into one of the cars, I'll be showing you how to modify the loom. So basically you can just plug and play. You don't have to tap into any other wires because there's already existing wires on the engine loom that doesn't get used. So first off, I'll show you how to go around it with the SAR. Okay, so now basically, if you run the Saab and you want to do a T7 APC mod, clearly you'll need T7 APC. Brand new, about £27 delivered. Obviously you'll need the two pin plug for the wiring, but obviously don't worry, it doesn't have to come off that. There's plenty about um, one being on your temp sensor, so if you've got a spare, cut that off, or horn connecting, they're all the same. Even the windscreen washer motor. As the same, obviously don't cut it off your own car, but I've got plenty around if anyone requires any, just drop us a message. Um, so basically, you want T7 APC, two pin plug, and you want some terminal removers. So basically you want to remove your said wires out, and out, that gives you the plug. So obviously, for those who's already on um, a T5 APC, you'll already have the APC behind the driver's headlight. You'll notice that that is a three pin. So basically what you want to do is discard the green pin. Doesn't do anything once you've gone T7. If you want to remove your blue wire, you can just get in the crack. There we go. There it pops. And on this particular model, we have a black wire, but most of you should have um, an orange wire, which is the middle one. So pull that one out. You see, if you haven't got none of these terminal pullers, you can get them off eBay for about £12, but there is some cheap ones for two or £3. So once you've got them two pins out, the blue one is your ground trigger for switch so basically that if you look at the plug where that opens up there so the top one there will be blue ground and then the open end will be pot ignition live which is basically the black one which on most will be orange what you do pop that in and then that one that's it, job done. I mean, you can cut this off and just bear the wire back, but I'll just leave that in. So basically with T7, now all you do is just swap your pipes over, C to compress rosin. Yeah, C to compress rosin, W to wastegate, actuator, and R to circulate, which basically goes back into the turbo. But if you haven't gone for that and you've got an operated turbo which hasn't got that feature, it doesn't matter, you can leave that to atmosphere, it's not gonna hurt. So see, we'll get that plumbed in. Um, so those now who haven't got the regular T7 or uh, T5 APC on their car. So those who haven't got a T5 installed on their car already, this three-pin plug will actually be cable tied just down here. So the wiring's already there for you. So there's no new wires you've got to install. Just basically copy what I've shown you previously just for that mod there right guys now for those who have put the engine into something else you're not going to have none of this wiring in your car are you because obviously it's not in the Saab so this is the way I do it normally before it's all mapped up you've got an EVAP for your purge tank for your fuel tank which doesn't get used it gets mapped out so in your actual engine loom you have got power supply already there for your T7 which is the green with a red trace wire through so if you unpin that that you can do it many different ways but obviously if you want to cut that and then extend the wire up to width again this here 
you will have this plug on your standard loom. Some have a four pin, some have a six pin, but there's only two wires in it. Um, so basically, you want to replace that one with that green one. This green one up here doesn't get used, so if you want to cut that, uh, heat shrink over it, just stop any moisture or anything corroding the wire or catch anything. So basically then, same applies, you've now got your ignition live, and then you've got your ground trigger already in the loom. So basically, um, you can cut the plug off, solder nice wires in, down to a two pin, straight to the APC. Job done. A lot of people go to pin 60, but again, it just, for me, it seems a lot more faff, really. Not when you've got the wires already in the bay ready to go. So that's as simple as that. So obviously this pink wire with black trace, leave that doesn't get used so again you can either what I do is cut it off end the tail and then just tape it back up neatly inside the loom job done so now one last thing before we do that is uh, I'll show you what needs to be done on the ECU before the T7 will actually work well, so basically guys if anyone's going for a T7 APC because it is more reliable than the older T5 um, you've no doubt had your ECU mapped or you wanting it modified. So basically you'll want to request that you get the T7 EPC mod done on the ECU. It's basically the things to look for. A lot of people do it different ways. But down inside here, you have those two pins there. That one and that one. Obviously they get looped. My technique is to join it with um, solder. Some people soldering new wires just a wire loop on it and then obviously pin 5 on that there once lifting up so that's the way you can tell that ECU's already been T7 modified and then clearly obviously you need it flashing with the file as well so let's put this together and I'll show you a true sign of whether it's working or not Right, okay guys, now ECU's back on the car, T7's on, I haven't got a clue whether it's going to work or not, whether I've failed this attempt or we've got it right, so we shall try. I haven't bothered making a bracket or anything yet, because obviously hopefully I want to put it on the body just to let it echo a bit louder, just hopefully so you can get the gist of what you're looking for when it is actually working. Whether you can hear that guys, just clicking away here now. I'll try to put that on there next week. Noise. If you just give it a bit of a rev, you'll hear it click, 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 click. Can you hear that guys? Click, click. And that's how you know you've got a successful T70 PC modified for the car. All working. One more thing now guys, that's uh, rotor, see if um, the actuator is up to the boost pressure now. Eh? Okay guys, just got back from road testing, um, obviously beforehand I had stayed one map on it, but the T5 APC, again about 0.8 bar, wouldn't really go much more than that. So, now I've got the T7 mod, put a stage 3 map on it, once we've got the sporting mods, I've raised it uh, down 5 to 5 like that. Um, so she should be rolling on the 3 engine of 270 yours now. Um, obviously you will get it on dyno, but that engine is coming out because I've got a fresh engine that's to go in, which you will see uh, some videos of it. So um, it's then cool down now, the trouble is, more power, wheel spin. Can't get it down, so um, next would be um, I hope you like the video guys, stay tuned, please like and subscribe, cheers.